met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... A fine day to youth. Been hearing some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Say the one's turning wicked, and the others have an ill-favored look to them. Best to keep clear. Hello, this is Agai here, giving you a Skyrim quest called The Whispering Door. First off, this quest is just mostly about talking, and it's really short, so I'm just going to say this. First, talk to this guy, which then he'll tell you to talk to his son, which then his son will tell you to talk to this door. At last, I've been waiting for someone more fit to carry out my will. The child is spirited, but lacks agency. Regrettably, I cannot reach your plane so directly. But I forgive you for not knowing who I am. Few hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whisper. I tug at the web of connections between mortals, love, hatred, loyalty, betrayal. The boy was good at sussing out secrets. You, I expect to take a more active role. First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it, and even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. What the Whispering Lady meant is that the kid knows where the keys are, which the first key is on his father, which you, the only way to get him from it is trying to pickpocket him, which I tried to, not once, not twice, but three times, and they all failed. So I gave that gave up trying to get the keys from him, so instead I switched to the other one that has the key, which is basically the, the Yarl's wizard. The wizard, you could simply either kill him or pick the key from him, which is a lot easier than from the Jarl. The only thing we left after that is to simply claim the prize. Excellent work. Now, I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the ebony blade you may know. It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in the song of your grandeur. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. Now, in royalty, and reshape this land which is mine. For you, red legions, for I love you. I love, love. Enough. Not all you've got.